Weeks ago, a traffic stop on Highway 70 led to the largest fentanyl bust in Mesa County history. But the Mesa County DA told me today this is just the beginning. Fentanyl. Just one pill can kill an adult and one kilogram can kill 500,000 people. Now, imagine how much damage more than 11 kilos can do but won't because of a traffic stop leading to the largest fentanyl seizure in Mesa County history. 100,000 fentanyl pills. In the driver's seat of that blue Ford Taurus stopped on I-70 on May 10th just before 10 p.m. was 24-year-old Ramon Sacena Valdez. And in the back seat next to drugs, officials say sat an 8-year-old child. Sacena Valdez is facing illegal possession and distribution charges of multiple drugs and child abuse. But the preliminary hearing is delayed until July because the defense is not ready. District Attorney Dan Rubenstein says this bust is part of a major operation to stop the deadly flow of fentanyl into the Grand Valley. Rubenstein says the record-breaking bust was part of a drug resupply mission from Denver after one of the stash houses in Grand Junction was running low. That stash house in the 800 block of Chapita Avenue was also hit by law enforcement earlier that day. And inside, they found another 7,500 fentanyl pills and 40 grams of meth. Officers arrested 26-year-old Raul Lizarraga on site. The Grand Junction Drug Task Force and partner agencies didn't stop there. Authorities stormed another stash house in Denver and retrieved a mind-blowing 200,000 fentanyl pills and another 200 pounds of meth after employing an informant to make the pickup. The hearing for Sacena Valdez is slated for July 3rd. 30,000 fentanyl pills were seized in 2021 in Mesa County. 160,000 pills were seized just last year. And so far this year, Sheriff Rouse says law enforcement has seized more than 400,000 fentanyl pills. And speaking of fentanyl, a drug bust in Garland.